Hey, hey, what's going on? Oh, gosh, it's dark over here. What's going on, everyone? It's K-I-M and the S-A-V. Kim out of Savannah, Georgia. And um, this, I'm looking rough, but it's not about me. It's not about me, Kim. All right. <laughs> I just want to jump on right quick to share this because I am so happy and thankful and grateful to be a part of one of the best professions ever. I was listening to my business partner, one of my business partners um, in the profession speak today. And she was talking about how she was a registered nurse and how, you know, she got spent so much money going into debt in school because she wanted to get this quote unquote good job, you know, where it would be guaranteed that she would always have a job and all this stuff. And uh, she liked her job enough, but she she was working super duper crazy hours and she said one of the things I like to do is travel while well, I was working so much that I could never travel so long story short she got into this profession and was able to work herself out of her job she recently got married and you know that hobby of traveling so much that she loves to do to make up for lost time this profession has allowed her to take a 12 month honeymoon <laughs> oh my gosh I was like I know so many people who have never taken a, a one day honeymoon, right? Or they took a funny moon, right? <laughs> After they got married, the trip that they went on to celebrate the, the you know, uh, nuptials was funny. It was a joke, basically. I know. Do you know people like that? I know people like that. Do you know anyone who likes to travel and they can't because they're working so much? Or even if they're not working so much, they just don't have the money to do it or... God forbid, both. What if you're working a lot and you still don't have the money? Like, that's the irony of so many people's situation nowadays. They work a whole lot and they still have no money. Oh, that's just horrible. That's just horrible. But yeah, she donated her job back to the economy as a registered nurse, a job that many people go into tons of debt to um, obtain. And she now, I mean, think about that. Do you know how long 12 months is? In case you don't, it's, it's a year. Yeah, it's a year. <laughs> so the woman who loved to travel but could never travel before because of her job, not only donated her job back to the economy, but she's helped other people to do the same thing and has taken a 12-month honeymoon. I just had to, I've never heard of a 12-month honeymoon, have you? <laughs> so I had to get on here and share with y'all. I am so happy and thankful and grateful to be a part of this profession. I want you to dream big and anything that it is you want to do, know that you can do it. Now, you might not be able to do it the way that you're doing things right now, but there is a better way. All right. If you want to know more about this profession of which I speak, then just holler at me. All right. But I got to go uh, help Eho with homework again. I love that I have the flexibility now to do that. There was a day and time when I couldn't even help my own son because I was so busy in higher education, taking care of other people's kids, getting their files ready, preparing reports for the next day. But now, go figure, I can help my own kid. Isn't that wonderful? No. That's, that's how it's supposed to be. That's not something that should be, a, you know, that I have to be thankful. That's not something I should desire. That's something that should be a given. Right? Right? Well, I'm happy. Now it is. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. I need to get this hair twisted. This is looking crazy. I can only wear so many headbands, right? All right. Bye, y'all. <laughs>